Hey guys, Serpent X here. And today I wanted to show you guys something real quick. It's actually really simple. Uh, I had a couple of my friends and colleagues ask me this. So in Awesome Miner, um, and there's a lot of other programs out there that you can use, uh, Multipool Miner. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult, not as user friendly to get set up, but once you get it set up, it is pretty good. Um, nice hash, of course, uh, which a lot of people. This is the reason why Awesome Miner kind of blew up, is because Nice Hash had that uh, hack or incident, and so a lot of people swapped over, wanted to find. Now you can also run your own batch files and stuff like that, but Awesome Miner has a lot of good features, and it's really just simple to set up. I know Nice Hash uh, Miner is easier. You know, you just plug in. Now it's your email. Put a worker name and get started mining. Um, but. Awesome Miner lets you have like full control over a lot of aspects here. So going into the whole point of this video, in Awesome Miner, the profit switching profiles is already preset. So you have nice hash, Z pool, mining pool hub, a hash pool, hash refinery, Zerg pool, which was added recently, mining Dutch as well, Blaze Pool, and Block Masters. Now of course you can set up your own custom pools. Uh, which I have many set up. Uh, you could also set up, also set up pool groups, which I do use from time to time. If I wanted to use my custom pools, I have some presets. So if uh, Equihash mining on Equihash and mining pool hub isn't uh, as profitable, then it will switch to one of my primary coins that I want to mine, which is uh, a great feature of this. So you're not limited to what just Nice Hash has to offer, and um, you know, be stuck on those certain algorithms and and. Uh, profits so here you can customize a lot now these yimp base pools like zerg pool z pool uh, a hash pool hash refinery um, they don't have things like equihash and ethereum and stuff like that um, others do nice hash mining pool hub and stuff like that but um, it all depends on the profitability now if I go and and show you this is just for my 1080 ti real quick uh, if I look at my coins, the most profitable coin, by the way, this has been going up and I've been, I have been mining it, Bitcoin Interest, which was a fork coin early May, uh, early May uh, from Bitcoin, um, is a coin, and you want to do your own research, I'm not informational about this at all, but it's a coin uh, that you can stake. So if you have X amount of coins in your wallet, you can stake that amount in your wallet and earn interest on it by, you know, weekly or monthly. Uh, but currently that's the highest coin to mine. Raven coin is usually at the top. Verge also. Mona has been up there for a little bit. But this, this again, these profits switch. Uh, so when we look at online services, we can see that Zerg pools up at the top. They usually are Z pool, A hash pool, all that good stuff. So say you want to mine everything that's Zerg pool, but you don't want to get paid out in Bitcoin. A lot of people are like, you know, I, can't, I plug in my address, it doesn't work, and I talked about this in my previous video if you watched it, uh, but you notice that everything has to be Bitcoin address, Bitcoin address, Bitcoin address, except for Mining Dutch and, and Mining Pool Hub where you have to set up your worker uh, names and, and um, your username and all that good stuff. But um, there's a better way. So with Bitcoin, uh, transactions could take longer, the fees could be higher, when you're mining and exchanging these currencies for Bitcoin, you could wind up losing more. Realistically, you're not going to be as profitable. So, say you're making uh, eight dollars uh, a day with your mining rig and mining Equihash, but by the time you convert it into uh, Bitcoin and you uh, account for electricity, your kilowatts, all that good stuff, you're really probably only going to be making about six to five dollars and fifty cents a day. So you're losing quite a bit of money with fee transactions, uh, and and you can't control when these guys would exchange. Once the the system, you know, once you mine a certain amount of coin and it hits that that pro, that range where it'd be you know point zero 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 one or even higher than that. Uh, once you exchange that, you're going to lose uh, some money there or some, some currency, so to speak. So there is a way to change this to mine whatever you want. So Zerg Pool has been the one that I've been on recently, and I'm mining to Litecoin. Why? Because Litecoin has a lower transaction fees and less fees for uh, payouts and stuff like that than Bitcoin. Now, of course, there's other currencies out there like uh, Equihash and stuff like that that you may get close or lower uh, transaction fees and rates and all that good stuff. But 
again, these YIMP-based pools don't have Equihash or Ethereum and stuff like that. So you want to do your research on which currency you want to get paid out in. You can actually, uh, you want to do the research on the pool uh, because not all currencies are supported. So if you wanted to mine everything that Zerg Pool has to offer, but you want to get paid out in Zcash, you may want to confirm. And it does say BTC, LTC, and Dash are, generate, are guaranteed payout coins for others. Please check the block amount we mine in the pool. So I'm pretty sure that you won't be able to get paid out in Equihash. You can get paid out in all the currencies that are on here. So all the currencies, and you can find out what they are. If you click on SHA-256, these are all the coins that they can, I'm assuming, pay out in. Again, I would confirm with the pool, but if you want to mine and convert to Litecoin and then shapeshift or whatever your exchange is that you like to use, exchange it for the coin you really want, that might be a better way. But definitely, whatever mining pool you decide to go with out of this list in Awesome Miner, make sure that you can get paid out in whatever coin you want, whether it's Zcash, Monero, whatever it may be, because I don't think those coins are supported but don't take my word for it, do your own research. I'm just here to show you that there is a way to change the, um, the currency in which you're gonna get paid, the auto exchange feature, uh, so to speak. So you're not stuck with just these Bitcoin addresses here. You can do more than that. So in here, um, you can choose, you're gonna have to put the address of the currency you want. So if you put your address in the currency, there's nothing else you need to put in this area. Everything else is going to be in online services. And inside online services, you'll see you have nice hash, Z pool, mining pool hub, hash refinery, a hash pool, Zerg pool, all the pools are in there. Now, mining pool hub, I wouldn't recommend doing it in here. I believe you can, but you can do uh, you can do it online. You can log into your account, mining pool hub. You can choose which coin you want to auto exchange to, uh, payouts, set the you know wallet amount, all that good stuff. So for that and mining pool, or excuse me, mining Dutch and mining pool hub, I would uh, do it actually through your own account out at those websites. For the YIMP based pools, like say for example, uh, Z pool, if you wanted to be able to mine all of these currencies, because they may switch in profitability, so NIST may be good one second, then Kaket kicks up, or Lira 2 or Vision 2, uh, so the currency always swaps and you can't keep up with that. So you just select all of the coins and, and you know, sh uh, shift click, control click, whatever you want to select, you know, control click if you want to select specific ones, all that good stuff. Oh, and hey, look, Zpool doesn't support Equihash. Wait a second, does Zerg Pool support Equihash? No. That's nice to know. I did not know that. So Zpool actually supports Equihash. So maybe you can get paid out in Zcash. That's good to know. All right, moving forwards. I want everything in Zpool to mine whatever's profitable, mining, you know, Austin Miner will, will, will auto switch and update and all that good stuff, so it would determine what's most profitable, but I want to get paid out on a different coin. Check this out. I select all the coins, I left, I left click the first one, shift left click the bottom one, that selects all in between, click bulk edit, and now for password, right, so you got profit factor where you can, you know, choose uh, both the profit. And then you got the password, and then you can update, include, and manage a uh, profit switcher. I think that's only if you want to add user-defined online services. So if there's other pools that aren't preset in Awesome Miner, you can add it and then include it in your profit switching profile. However, if you just go to the second one, this is the only one you need to be worried about uh, considering if this is what you want to do to your Awesome Miner. And then for password, usually, and double check the websites, usually these websites will tell you exactly what that is. So it's C equals, and then the coin that you want to get paid out in. There's other variables as well, like C equals XVG, comma, MC equals XVG, all that good stuff. But for the simple way, you just choose C equals, and then the coin you want to get paid out in. For my case, it's LTC, Litecoin. Um, again, verify that you can get paid out in those pools. I verify with this Zerg pool that I can get paid out. I am pretty dang on confident that Z pool will allow me to do the same thing if I could type the damn name right. And uh, now that I know that Equihash is supported, that, that's something I might be interested in. So uh, BTC, uh, of course they got an FAQ. LTC is supported. Okay, all right, so we're good. If the coin is not listed on the pool except BTC 
and you still chose to mine that address, you are you risk not getting any payment. So you got to verify this stuff. Don't don't just put it in there and expect that it's going to be paid out. So anyways, Z pool equals, you know, C equals LTC and you want to do it in caps exactly as the abbreviations are. Actually, that's a good question. I would do it in caps. I wouldn't, you know, here's the algorithms, but if you notice all the coins are capitalized. So garlic is G R L C, you know, just search the coin you want. All right, there's O C and then you can put that in the payment address. Once you have that set, you're going to click OK. Then you're going to go back to your profit switching and you need to make sure that your Litecoin address is actually in there. Okay, because if your Litecoin address is not in there, again, the warning from Zpool and Zergpool and all the other base accounts or pools will tell you if you are mining a coin and you don't have the correct address, you're going to have to, there's going to be some type of communication you're going to have to do with the admin, your funds are going to be held. You might not get paid out in it, or if you do get paid out, you're going to get paid out in the wrong coin. It's a lot of issues. So to avoid that, double check your profit, profit switching section. Make sure the correct address for that currency is in there. And then for online services, select the pool, the, the, the particular profile, um, which everything is Zpool. Bulk edit, and then put your password in there. Once you put it in there, you, you should be good to go. You don't have to keep clicking update because it will get grayed out. But this is just only to update that password field. So if I wanted to change that again and, and actually get paid out, you know, BTC, I could do that. But that's already set up in Awesomeiter. So you may want to choose something else. Uh, and then you choose another coin and all that good stuff. So the simplest way to get Awesomeiter running, um, and I might do a, a dummy's guide to this. It's, it's really simple. I know NiceHash is easy to set up. The main focus is you can get paid on a different currency of your choice you just need to verify that the pool supports that payout if it does then again you would go to options you would go to profit switching make sure that your wallet address for the currency you want to get paid in is in that preset or predefined pool z pool nice hash all that good stuff then you go to online services select everything for that pool you could get paid out in ltc for all these guys but i wouldn't recommend because profit switching if you keep switching different pools, it's gonna take you a while to get paid out. You might have a little bit here in Z pool, a little bit here in A hash, a little bit in a, uh, hash refinery, and then you're wondering where your money is a week or two later, especially if you only have one GPU like I do in my 1080 Ti in my main system. So stick on one pool um, and just highlight all of them. Again, you can left click the top one, go down to the bottom, shift left click the bottom one, bulk edit, update password, C equals and the currency you want to get paid out in. Click OK and you're pretty much done. Once you start mining, you'll automatically get paid out in the currency that you just set up or that you chose. So you don't have to always mine the Bitcoin and be careful of mining the Bitcoin. Everybody knows that's the, that's the grandfather of cryptocurrency, but the transaction fees, the transaction, the time it takes for the transaction to go through, and the fees to exchange are going to kill you in the long run and you're going to wind up losing more. Yeah, you're still making money, but you're going to be losing more. And right now, because the mining market is, is bouncing in those low 7,000s, any little bit will count. So conserve yourself, conserve electricity, set up your, your overclock profile so you can save some electricity through your GPU, uh, try to get your system as efficient as possible, and then you can set it up to where you can auto switch uh, you can mine and auto switch to a currency of your choice. Hopefully this helped you out. Like, share, subscribe guys, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.